So there's nothing like being the last presenter at the last <laughs> session of the day. But I promise we will not, I will not keep you on. My name is Kat Anderson. I am in School of Medicine in Internal Medicine and Geriatrics. And so this particular project involves a focus on faculty. And as many of you know very well that a lot of the feedback we get as educators comes almost entirely from student feedback. There's some peer feedback, but most of it is student feedback. And that has its own challenges, right? And so we set off with actually Rachel's office of EQI in the School of Medicine to develop a better peer-peer feedback program within the School of Medicine for our primary educators. We did an exhaustive search of the literature. We looked at a lot of different schools. And one of the things that we noticed was it was unclear to us if people were actively engaging the faculty in developing their programs. There was a lot of information out there about, okay, how did you like the program that you participated in? But we didn't get the feeling like that they were part of the process of building the program. And so that's what we set out to do. With the help of our EQI office, we conducted a variety of focus groups, and we got a lot of information from our primary faculty core educators about what they wanted in a peer-peer evaluation program. Out of that came kind of our guiding principles and some things that we really needed to make sure that we consider as we develop this program. We talked with a lot of you from your different schools and got a perspective on what you all did, and then we created a pilot. And this fall, we're actually launching our first pilot because the School of Medicine is undergoing a curriculum um, revision. And so this was an opportunity for us to step into new curricular spaces and, and observe faculty, have kind of peer-peer -peer observations in a way that we're a lot less threatening because we're all working at getting better. Nobody's expected to be perfect in the first iteration of a curriculum. So this fall, we're launching that first pilot and then in the spring, we hope to expand it further. But I think one of the things that came out of this was um, the importance of listening to faculty, to hearing what faculty wanted to make sure that the program works for them to help engage their participation. So, and thanks to all of you for your schools, for those of you that contributed to the pilot program. That's all I got.